Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video which is going to be a War Underground Battles. Hopefully we can get a, some good matches. Also it's been a while since I've said that. I'm going to take the, just a couple of seconds to explain what's been going on. So I haven't made a video in about a month or so. It's due to I got sick. I don't believe it was the one that you cannot, sp the one whose name we do not speak of, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was either like the cold or flu or something, and then I had a very, very bad cough that I just could not get rid of. But with the new year, I'm feeling a whole lot better. So hopefully, I stay that way, and hopefully, I can put out more videos constantly. Uh, although work is also. Uh, where I work at the time does change to what time I come in so it's kind of the two factors for last year reason why I didn't upload a video for about two months was work and I got sick but I am feeling a whole lot better and with work I can always work around it but hopefully we can get back into completing Warhammer and putting out more videos of some more games that I have been playing while I was sick because I hadn't been playing War Thunder because War Thunder takes a toll out on you on its own. So without further ado, let's get on to what we're going to be doing today and that is we're going to be playing 10.0 Ground for America. So 10.0 Ground is a bit iffy because everyone has much better stuff than you, like the Leopards or not leopards in general, but the uh, leopard 2Ks, there's KPZs, well, they're they're iffy in their own way. Big Light Panzers, Gepard, that's New Gepard. Uh, mainly the leopards in general, they have a lot of turret armor where, in your case, you don't have that much turret armor. Same for Russia, the great bane of every game, T-80s and T-90s, we will be facing the TDUs. They're actually much easier to kill, in my eyes, than a leopard. <laughs> All you gotta do is aim lower plate on a uh, T. Uh, let's see, let's get a T80 preview. It. Uh, armor protection analysis. We're gonna go with America. And we're gonna go with A M1A1. And we're gonna be using, I believe it's the. I think it's this one. This is the one. No, 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 not this version. I'm looking for the 10.0 one. Is it this one? Here we go. M1A or M1 plane, and then we're looking for the biggest round that it has. I think it's this one, the M7035. Oh, which one is it? It's this one. And about at 500 meters, if you can hit it, even with that plating there, it's going to go right through and detonate ammo most of the time. Knock out engine all of the time, then the driver. Sometimes if you get it up high enough, you can... Oh, there it is. I saw it flashing for a second there. You can get the gunner with that shot. Not all the time as you can see, but lower plate on almost every Russian thing. Uh, Britain, I'm not too sure we'll face much of Britain. Same with China, lower plate their vehicles, whereas I have never, never touched a Chinese tech tree, as you can see. <laughs> well, I have the vehicle from when it was introduced, but I don't know. I think it's the plane, I'm not too sure. Uh, same for their ZTZ-99 lower plate, so it's going to be fairly easy for at least for the M1 to go through stuff. Same for the XM-8, it's using basically the exact same round just about the uh, 353, although I do have access, uh, no, this one, I think they're the same round, yeah, the 353, and then for the M11, it's got the 522 round, so it's very easy. The only thing is, this thing is very tall, as well as it doesn't have, I took the, uh, 
or I didn't take it off, but the game took it off. I had the uh, slate armor on it, but with the new update, you can remove the armor, which is weird. I don't know. I had already had the armor on it. I don't know why they didn't just give it to me. And then we have the LAV for a little bit of fun, because the LAV is always fun, no matter what you do with it. For our anti-air, both LAV and M247, just because the proxy rounds and you have an all-around radar, while this thing, you have to have visual on the target. You don't get a warning or a, a ping out of something inbound. We have the Bradley, good old Bradley. It's useful, I guess. <laughs> and then, of course, for ground strike, we have the Phantom, the Sky Ray, and my favorite plane, the Thunder Chief F-105. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Or, the matches. We're already in the video. Let's get into the matches. Alright, I'll see you in the first one. Alright, here we are on... I think this is Fields of Normandy. We're gonna, I'm gonna go in over here to the side of A and play. That's one of my favorite places to play at over here on this side. I'll go C and B usually once this side has been secured, I guess you could say. Not taken, because that's not proper proper English. So once we secure this side, I'm gonna probably head out towards B and hopefully win the match. Now we are fighting against just Russia, so it's a good old fashioned everyone versus Russia match, which you don't get really many of these days. It's always uh, everyone versus everyone, and there are missiles flying back left and right. It's a BMP, I think. Probably a BMP 2M. Could be a could be Karma, I think. If I said that right, that's a BMP. Let's see. Let's see. I see you right there. Got your fill tank. And your driver? No, there's your driver. Okay. First target down. So yeah, lower plate every time. <laughs> it depends on oh if you're getting attacked or not. Okay, I can see anything from there. Huh. BMP decided to push good old Bradley. Well, let's have to use the missile on this. Yeah, we're not to use the missile. First let's get the eyes on him. Gotcha. <laughs> Another one's right here. Got him as well. All right, all targets down. No, there's another one. There you are. Thank you very much for helping me repair. Uh, K three. There you go. Any repairs? Nope. Now, those BMPs are probably going to be coming back in something. There you go. That's your 25. I knew it. <coughs> I probably will have to drop two. There is a plane right there. Not to worry about. It's probably an SU. 25, yeah. He's down. Any targets, any targets. If there was, I didn't see any. I do hear a helicopter. He's above me. It's a car, 50 probably. Yeah. Oh, 
Whoa. That. Whoa, look at the shatter on the side of the plane. Good heavens. Alright, we're gonna pop our air brake here. Gonna carpet bomb that. I'm out of it. And only a hit. Yeah, the Thunder Chief has a bit of an issue when it comes to pulling out of a dive like that. <laughs> I was about to say, there's no way that plane is still flying. Another BMP. I can deal with that easily. Same goes for the T-80, if I can get eyes first. This thing is a whole lot better with the uh, new changes to wheeled vehicles. Because before when you would go off-roading, you would lose all of your airspeed. But I s it seems as though it doesn't matter now, you keep up your airspeed, which is good. Because you'd be going like a hundred down a road, a paved road, and then all of a sudden you'd hit dirt and be going like 10, <laughs> 10, mile, 10 kilometers an hour. I want to push in, but I probably shouldn't do it anyways. I'm going to go for C. If I can get over there before the match ends. Nope, we won. Right, on to the next one. Well, 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 if it isn't everyone's favorite style of map, sniping. I actually don't really, and, uh, well, if it have, if I have to, I'll snipe, but I prefer close, close in brawling. <laughs> That's my favorite kind of play style. Uh, sniping's all right. There are, I have had some matches and just about every two of where I've had some pretty decent long range sniping. It's very uh, fulfilling, I guess you could say, when the round hits on the first try, or a second try. Even if you take more than two tries, even on the third or fourth try, it's fulfilling knowing that you managed to narrow in the target. Let's see what we can see. They're trying to shoot me, but they're not going to be able to, because I'm behind the, the hill. That was very close. What are you shooting at? I know where you're shooting from. Oh, you can see me? Somebody doesn't have their grass turned on. Alright, just move down a little bit. Enemy tank? No, friendly. Yeah, somebody's using the uh, spotting drone. Alright, we're gonna look this way. So they're bound to start pushing around this way. There's somebody. There's somebody right there too. Gotcha. You weren't fast enough, or either you just didn't hit your shot where you wanted it to. Did that wheeled vehicle die, or is it still driving? It's still driving. It's right there. Somebody just took it out. <laughs> That was a CV, I think, that I just got. And the other thing was a Wama. <laughs> leopard. Whoa! Another leopard. Wonder where from. Uh, yeah, that's where I thought. They're pushing their, uh, around here somewhere. Uh, let's take out the Sky Ray. Let's see if we can not help our troops that are closer to the A point. <gasps> I think my controls got messed up. There we go. There's a drone flying around. I think that's what that is. The base is shooting at.
Ah, okay. <laughs> the one time an ocelot can actually shoot something down. <laughs> Alright, well, we're left with M247, I guess we're on air patrol. Yeah. Sniping's alright. For those that like it, but I don't particularly care for it. There's that thing. If I've ever seen a tank that's pay to win, <laughs> that thing's definitely it. But, uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Why am I so slow? Hmm. What could you be a drone, probably? Yeah, drone. Now, do I have the right round selected? That's what I need to know. Uh, fuse delay. V2, that's the one I need. Okay. Alright, come on, Mr. Jones. Get a little bit closer. Oh, two drones in. Coming. He's firing his second missile. Still don't have a radar lock. Or, I have a radar lock, I don't have a targeting lock. Okay. Oh, time to move. There we go. Well, it's too late, the AV-8's gonna eat a missile and shoot him down. Tch, that ocelot is doing work. The gods work. <laughs> oh, that's a wing long, that one right there. Okay, let's see. Jet. That dude's missiles are freaking me out. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, there you go. I got hit. All of that driving just to get <laughs> taken out, okay. Well, that was a horrible match anyways. <laughs> On to the next one. Alright, we finally got one of the dreaded night maps. And it's Vietnam, well, all the maps that we could get at night time. <sighs> Not that bad, hopefully. I'll go this way. Now the M1 does have a loud engine, so... Going to the city probably isn't the best idea. Get out of your way so you can use the road. Uh, the engine noise will reverberate all over the place. It's probably not a good idea for me to even go this way, but I have an idea. If I can make it down to the end and be able to cut across, we can cut off all reinforcements to the city. Should play turn on night vision, even though it kind of is useless. I'm probably not going to use night. Uh, I'll keep night vision on for now. I usually don't use it because it's kind of just gets in the way, especially when the uh, star shells are up, blinds you. Makes for a very bad time. Ah, that's another thing. The uh, M1 has uh, I think Gen 1 night vision, so it's real, real bad. Not the best, it's, you can make use of it. And large open fields with nothing in front of you. Targets are spotted on the ridge. Over here. Quickly cut across. There you go. Quickly 
look that way. Back forward. Smoke is cleared now. Did a missile just fly by right there? I don't even know. There's a helicopter off in the distance, right there, right where the circle is over. Alright, let's move in with our teammates. I'm gonna guess it's out that way somewhere. But I don't see it. So we're back off. Unless it's over that way. That's a good idea to look that way as well. Yeah, well, it's still that. Oh, I see it. Driver fuel tank, he did shoot. Come on. Load, 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 There's something below me. Oh, there he is. Ooh, what are you? What are we fighting? Britain? It's probably a centurion. It was. Oh, a challenger. Yes. Somebody just went mock with a battlefield. I don't think we have any planes up. We do. We have a Q5L, but I don't think that's what it was. It wasn't. I hear some movement over here. It's dead. I hear more movement down in the river. That's right. Don't check your corners. Now when left uncheck, uh, unlike that, the M1 is pretty decent. Characteristics, got your cannon breach. <clears throat> up. Oh wow, that was a bad hit on my part. Ooh, I see you. I shouldn't do it, but I'm going to push him anyways. Watch the river. Ah! Not good enough. These reloads much faster than mine. Yep. <laughs> That's the third shot that I've hit where I'm just just too high. Alright. Now I just need to wait for them to spot people for us. Pop air brakes. We can slow our roll down. I'm not gonna go after that guy necessarily right away. That killed me. I'm going to go after this guy, though. Maybe we can get a kill on him. Got him. BMP. Okay, so yeah, I only needed one bomb for that. Disengage over the water. Back over this way. Alright, we do have a mark. Let's see if we can't get it for our team. Should probably be careful how I'm flying, because... Thunder Chief, although good, it will lose speed very fast. Does the helicopter have him? He doesn't. Let me get him then. Let's push it onto our heavy tank. Got him. Something is radaring me. Oh, that's the dude that got me. <laughs> Alright, well. He was marked, so, technically, technically that's not a revenge kill, although technically I did kill the dude that killed me. 
But he was smart. He was going to kill my teammate. I was protecting my teammate. And defending the base. Also, what is that? That just... What is that that's in a heavy tank? Oh, that's the tiger. Somebody bought a tiger. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay. He's probably going to spawn an anti-air or a plane, so I should probably get up some air speed. Probably come after Afterburner. So he can't see me too well. He'll still see me and see my dot, but with the Afterburner going, he'll definitely see me. The red dot going across the sky. Same for on the ground. Alright, I've got one 1,000 left. So you can't knock out this guy. And then all that's left are the two 3,000s. Bombs out. Try to disengage. Got him. Now, any other time, I wouldn't loiter around the battlefield like this. The only reason I'm doing it is because it's a nighttime match and we do have a bunch of helicopters up. Only two, but that's still a bunch. That's one thing that I get, uh, get fussed at about with one of, the, one of my friends that does War Thunder is they say that I stay over the battlefield too long. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> like, like you see now, I'm trying to make a difference. Every spot is a, is one enemy tank destroyed and closer to victory. I don't see anything. I don't see anything in their spawn, so I'm gonna go on and speed up and get out of here. How many people are left? There's one person left. Where could they be? If they were in anti air, they would have shot at me already. So they've got to either be in a helicopter, which is highly unlikely, or they're in a tank hiding somewhere. I don't see anyone. Uh, he also, whoever it is, I should say, would have probably sh machine gunned at the helicopters, but I don't think they've gone out. One has, though. Alright, I'm watching the Cobra, or the AH. See, he doesn't see anything, and if he gets machine gunned at, then I'll know where to sh drop the last two bombs at. But it looks like we're gonna probably cap it out. <laughs> All right. Remember, remember, always try to have a little bit of fun in War Thunder. <laughs> Said cool flyby, let's give him another one. Another one for the road. Whoa, I just saw that shot ring out. It was from over in the marshland. But it's too late. We won it. I see him. <laughs> There he is. Right there. Ah! Black rat. <laughs> Alright, looks like our tank crew is needed back in Normandy. So, this time single cap, not three cap. Hopefully, we can make another win. Like last match. <laughs> or the uh, two matches ago? I'm not too sure. The match where I played this map, where it was three caps. <laughs> Explain it like that. This time we do have Sweden on our side. Uh, we're going against Germany, Russia, and China. Just gonna make sure we get our hit our lower plates this time. Ooh, they're already shooting at us. We haven't started shooting at them yet. 
Oh, got one. See the 90. Engine transmission. Let's not try to tunnel vision on him too much. There you go. He's out. Try to back off a little. Get a look at our situation so that we don't get flanked by a BMP again. Or anything else. Now with the we do two wheeled vehicles, uh, I believe that. The uh, Chinese vehicles are going to be uh, all that much more powerful. Ah, not going to get the shot bounced down. Dang. He didn't see me though, so I might be able to do it again if he doesn't have any friends watching. Got him. <laughs> didn't have any friends watching. let somebody watch your back in War Thunder. <laughs> you never know who's watching you. I fell short. Ooh, that is a something, but I got my target. I have no idea what's right here. It's down in the low ground. Let me mark it. Drop some artillery just because I can. And is that AGS behind them? The AGS is in their spot. The a that AGS is literally flanked, outflanked the people flanking and went into their spawn. That's interesting. Never seen that done before. Oh, it's you! That, um, yeah, AFT09. Knocked out my top gunner. And he died. <laughs> the uh, AGS got knocked out. Huh. I could have told you that was going to happen. You're going to get spotted by their spawn radar. Something heavy just flew by me. Z19. Oh, Z19s are here. I see him. It's right there. Missile inbound. If I can't get behind a tree. <clears throat> Although, what will a tree really do? Absolutely nothing against the, that thing. Do you have an ocelot? spawn right now. Uh, go around this way. I'm gonna drop some artillery. Probably help mask my engine. He's in front of me somewhere. Moving this way. There he is. Got him. It wasn't a WAMA, it was a BMP, but there is a WAMA somewhere around here. Where at? I have no idea. That TV90 took a hit though, a big one. Yeah, his damage is way more than mine. WAMA just got knocked out by a wolf pack. WAMA located. Do you tell the good news? I bet he's in the back. I bet he's back there. That's probably what killed the AGS. Let me help you repair, buddy. Thank you. Of course. Let's see. K31. the whammo at. I'd say he's over that way somewhere. Whoa, what kind of smoke screen is that? 
it like um oh what's this I saw a smoke cloud and a fire there's a smoke cloud well whatever it was it's dead now focusing all attention on the whammer Target is that we seek. So I have no idea where it's at. Let's just ran away. That thing is pretty fast now. Whoa! I don't know what just hit me, but it's somewhere in front of me. All right, that was a good one. All right, I hope you enjoyed those few matches that I did. Some of them were uh, pretty good, the the especially the Normandy map. Uh, that was the uh, first match that I did and won. So what better way to end it with a win on the exact same map? Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Look forward to more videos, especially now that I have unlocked this over here. I can finally achieve it after <laughs> so long waiting for it. Soon to get the. Uh, skin for it so I'll probably do a video maybe on that thing especially if I see if I can't drop a toilet on somebody that'll be fun so uh without further ado I'll uh end it here thank you for watching and uh I'll see you in the next video